It's Monday, June 2nd, and here's some of the news beyond the headlines. Indian police say three brothers have confessed to the rape and killing of two teenage girls in Uttar Pradesh state. The girls, aged 14 and 16, were gang raped and hanged from a tree after leaving their homes to use the bathroom late last Tuesday. India has a history of leniency with sexual violence, but this most recent attack has caused outrage across the country. Residents of the village where it happened are calling for those convicted to face the death penalty. Iran executed a man on Sunday for his alleged links to an exiled opposition group. The semi-official Fars news agency reported that Golam Reza Khosravi Savajani was charged with providing funding to the People's Mujahideen Organization of Iran, also known as MEK, whose aim is to remove the country's religious leadership. When Savajani was arrested in 2010, he was reportedly carrying video and documents detailing sensitive information such as military installations. He was convicted of, quote, enmity against God. Iran classifies MEK as a terrorist group. Its members helped overthrow the Shah during the 1979 revolution. South Sudan's rebel leader and former vice president says he's had trouble controlling his own forces. Riyak Mashar's comments come days before he's set to sit back down at the negotiating table with President Salva Kiir to end months of fighting. The UN Security Council last week extended the organization's mission in South Sudan and acknowledged what it called a disappointing shift from developing the world's youngest nation to protecting its civilians. Malawi has a new leader following an election marred by allegations of vote rigging. Opposition leader Peter Mutarika was sworn in after a judge denied a recount request by incumbent President Joyce Banda. A corruption scandal linked to Banda's government led donors to cut aid to the nation. Malawi is one of the world's poorest countries, and foreign aid funds 40% of its budget. Check out the Vice News YouTube channel for more original reporting and documentaries from around the world. Without